camera, bags, computer accessories, headphones, electronic items, clothes or simple household stuff. They are all available online and are high in demand. The online portals deliver you the order at your doorsteps which are generally cheaper than malls or market price. Therefore, e-commerce is increasingly becoming popular. In last few years, e-commerce market has grown considerably in India. With recent multiple billion dollars cash infusions, India's web-based retail sector is blazingly hot. Flipkart announced a $1 billion financing round a couple days back and not even a day later, Amazon decided to steal Flipkart's thunder by announcing that it would invest $2 billion into its India business. Now the big question on everyone's mind is, who will win in India, the homebred Flipkart or the global e-commerce giant Amazon? Flipkart was founded in 2007 by Sachin Bansal and Binny Bansal, two former Amazon executives. It started exactly like Amazon as an online book retailer but has grown to be a comprehensive e-commerce solution worth more than $5 billion. Flipkart now employs more than 9,000 people. Amazon on the other hand being a global company has natural advantages. It has no investment problem nor hiring problems. Its website is more professional and crashes less than that of Flipkart. But where does this leave the other e-commerce players? The competition between biggies like Amazon and Flipkart is likely to be fierce, but in the price and service warfare, the numerous smaller players will have to scamper for funds to stay afloat. There could be some more mergers and consolidation like the Flipkart Mintra deal in the offing. The pie is huge and there's no reason why more players can't survive, given that the retail space is wide open for those with innovative ideas and the will to be different. Clearly, in this war of e-tailers, Real winners will be the Indian consumers. These announcements have made it amply clear that the price wars will continue for several more years. These firms are willing to bleed more money in the name of market share. This will serve to increase the reach of e-commerce in India, reduce prices and help improve overall customer experience. With inputs from Ahmedabad Bureau, Business Desk, Lady News.